initially you had that skid and now you have your a three fight run. How, is, how are you feeling right now? I feel good. I think it should be four fight. I didn't lose the Japanese kid. I thought I beat him. So I, I, for me, it should be four fights. But I feel good, you know. Uh, uh, I thought, you know, I lost to Dillashaw. I lost to Birdchick, you know. I thought I beat Tanaka. Um, you know, sometimes uh, you just hit a rough patch and you fall down in life, you know, but you just get up and uh, dust yourself off and believe in yourself and keep going. And give yourself an opportunity to do great things. And that's what I've done. I knew Ronnie would be tough. Um, you know, I, I thought I would do a little bit better of putting things together better, you know, offensively. Uh, my defense was really good, you know, I just got caught with the headbutt. But uh, I, I expected a tough fight. Uh, he's a ranked fighter, a veteran. You know, I think he's been fighting since he was like 18 years old or something. You know, I knew it was going to be a, a, a hard war in his, in his home country. How did massive blood turn the, the fight more difficult for you? Um, it, was, it was weird. It was the first time I've been cut like that really bad, you know? Uh, I've been cut at practice a little bit, been cut fights, but that one was dripping in my eye a little bit. But it's mental, like you just don't let it affect you, you know what I mean? I don't think it did affect me too much. Uh, it's a little bit of blood, if, you know, it just feels like water all over your face, you know? Um, a little bit of blood never hurt nobody, you know? Blood, sweat, and tears, that's what we put into this thing. And, uh, you know, I, I'll, that's like my sacrifice is my blood, you know, for this, for this victory.